should have seen the vision all the way through because clearly I only seen half of it. Because had I known I'd be looking this fantastic, I would have thrown on something a little bit nicer than this stage. <laughs> Definitely would have taken off my glasses, threw on some lashes, and be all the way there. But now I'm just like halfway there and I just wanted to go ahead and create an inspiration look for you guys so that you could get all the way there if not today on another day. <laughs> But yeah, this is definitely something that needs to be dressed up all the way. Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Tamaria Lake coming to you with another video on my sister log. I've been documenting my journey where I'm going from a 4C loose natural to a locked natural. So if you're interested in natural hair content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the notification bell so you're not missing out on any of my future content. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and create another sister locks hairstyle for you guys. So if you would like to see, go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm just gonna go ahead and explain to you guys a little bit of what I have as a vision for this hairstyle. Um, please excuse <laughs> the mess. I'm gonna use my magic silicone rollers and I'm gonna use the small ones around the back in the kind of like the perimeter of my hair. And then I'm gonna use the big ones at the top. Now before I do anything to my hair, I wanna go ahead and moisten it up because it is a big stiff. Okay, now that we got a little bit of moisture in the hair and it's easier to manipulate, I am going to create the top section of my hair. And I want it to fall to the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my part over here. Is this how I want it to look? Okay. So it's pretty, it's a pretty deep part. It's not like an average side part. It's pretty deep. And this is gonna be the section that I'm gonna be considering like my, my bang or my side bang. I don't know what you wanna call it, but this is the part that I'm gonna put in the large rollers. And since I already have that sectioned off, I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on that now and then I'll work on the back once I get done. So this is what the big rollers look like. This is the big size and then this will be the smaller size So along with messing my hair with the water, I am gonna go ahead and use this Shea Moisture, the Nutri, the Nourish and Silkening Hold Mist. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my large curl formers, the silicone ones, which you can get off of Amazon. I'm gonna work in small sections and then I'm just gonna, I want this part to kind of be flipped upwards. So instead of rolling it under, I'm gonna roll it up. And then I just try to make sure that I get it as close to my root as I can. So I'm just gonna take it, instead of going under with it, this way I'm gonna go the opposite way.
So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this top section here off camera. Okay, so this is pretty much how the top is looking. I have about 23, 25 rollers in the top alone. I am gonna go ahead and start on the back. As I mentioned, I am going to be using the smaller ones in the back. And this is how much of the back that I have actually left to do. So essentially I have this side and then from here on down and then this little bit on this side. So now that I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the back, I'm gonna use the same products. Um, the technique is gonna be just a little bit different instead of rolling it up, upwards. I'm gonna go ahead and roll these under and then see how it comes out. Now I am not in a rush or anything like that, so I am gonna let these rollers completely dry overnight. These are pretty comfortable to sleep in. I know a lot of people ask me that, are they comfortable to sleep in? They are soft, so it's like almost sleeping on an extra pillow. So I didn't experience any discomfort with sleeping with these compared to the regular traditional perm rod. But if you would like to see me do like a, a curl set all in one day, you can put a blow dryer to these as long as you're not putting it directly over the rollers and on an extreme high heat and still you're supposed to be able to get a good curl set. I haven't tried it, but if you would like me to do that and demonstrate it on video, then go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section and I will definitely work on getting that done for you all. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start on this part now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish it off camera. You basically see what I am doing and how I am doing it. So I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like once I'm all done. But yes, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm all done putting the rollers in my hair. It took about 30, I wanna say close to 30 in the, the back to do the smaller ones. So I will suggest that you work from the back to the top. I feel like that would be a lot easier. Altogether, I would say it took me about 30 to 45 minutes to go ahead and put all these rollers in my hair. And that does include me trying to film some sections of it. So it doesn't really take that long to do a curl set with these rollers and also sister locks. What I'm gonna do now is just take a black silk scarf and I'm just gonna try to Go ahead and tie this so that they stay a little bit flat and close to my head. It's just gonna give it a little bit more um, security versus than me just throwing on my oversized bonnet. It's just gonna kind of help keep them in place, make sure they don't fall out because I will say that is somewhat of a con with these rollers. If you don't kind of secure them down and you just sleep with that big old bonnet on, then you might lose a few of your rollers overnight. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to get everything in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and put on my big bonnet. And this is just gonna be my vibe for today and then I will come back tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like and how I'm gonna Style. this roller set I'm um, so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow meanwhile I'm about to go ahead and do some cleaning some cooking and some mommying some mothering some momming 
All right, you guys, so it is the next day and I am getting ready to go ahead and take these rollers out of my head so I can see what this style is going to look like. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the little ones in the back and I am going to pin them kind of down. It'll probably make more sense once you actually see what I'm doing. So let me go ahead and get started. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of smushing the hair down to my head and then going ahead and putting a bobby pin in there just to secure it. I don't really want to stretch these curls out because I want this to kind of look like a short, almost you know how you would do like a, a faded cut kind of look on the side except for it's not faded, it's sister locks. But I wanted to go ahead and give that illusion so that's why I'm pinning the curls down to the side to give it like that short look. Okay, so I took all of the rollers out in the back and pinned everything up. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn around show you guys what it's looking like in the back all right and so now we're gonna go ahead and move along to the front All right, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil before we go ahead and start to style the curls that we took out in the front. Now I will say the curls are not popping like how I thought they would be in the front, rolling them upwards. I had a completely different vision in mind, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to work with it anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn and do some profiles so you guys can see what the hair is looking like from the sides and also the back again. I feel like being that I didn't actually get my hair cut into the style, that I did a pretty good job imitating the look to have short hair on the sides and then a big swoop in the front. I am really liking it. I feel like it came out really, really cute. It was really simple to go ahead and create this style as far as putting in the rollers and the whole complete concept. But you know, it's all a learning experience here in this journey that I'm going on from a 4C loose natural to a sister locked natural. 
But yeah, if you're here for this hairstyle, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Share this video on any of your social media platforms because that will greatly help me and my channel out a lot. And of course, you know I'm gonna go ahead and leave some videos up on the screen for you guys to go ahead and check out next. So until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye.